watching 1997 Watermelon Festival reports on KTSS from the 21st Annual Festival. Hope native Governor Mike Huckabee came to the festival on Saturday, August 16th and performed in his band known as Capital Offense. Uh, we played originally at a staff party and uh, in spite of all the requests we decided we'd play again. And we ended up doing that at a picnic for uh, Capitol employees out on the state Capitol grounds one day. We had a lot of fun and, and uh, it was interesting. Nobody came up and told us we were any good. But we had a dozen people came up and said, you know, you guys weren't as bad as I thought you were going to be. We tell everybody we play for, uh, for our amusement and your amazement. We just were going to have a good time. Our, our actual name, there have been so many rumors about what we call ourselves. It's been reported that we are the Pachyderms. That's not so. It's been reported that we are Grand Huck Railroad. That's not what we are either. Actually, the name of our band is Capital Offense. Because we figure that before this is over, we will probably offend everybody, although it's not our intention to do so. We just have a lot of fun, play a lot of stuff from the past. This is one that uh, those of you who are our age will remember from an old uh, rock opera by The Who. The opera was called Tommy, and the song is Pinball Wizard. Uh, late 1960s and early 1970s there was a song that just about uh, I guess every time you went somewhere you heard a lot of different people did it you're going to about hear our version of it now which uh, make you wish that one of the other versions was being played this is one uh, how many of you remember the song in the midnight hour anybody remember that all right let's do it one, two,
baseball season. A lot of people playing baseball. A lot of you just got through with your kids' baseball season. But it uh, just wouldn't hardly be summer, and it wouldn't hardly be baseball if we didn't uh, do a little baseball music. We're going to do one now by John Fogarty called Center Field. Watching KT. I know that uh, a lot of you like uh, old-time rock and some of you like uh, maybe some old-time country. I met some people here today from Kingsland, Arkansas. Are they still here, people from Kingsland? There they are. All, oh, both of them. Who came from Kingsland, Arkansas? Anybody remember? Johnny Cash. Well, if we're going to do an Arkansas event, we've almost got to invite Johnny Cash to come and sing with us. And he wasn't available today, but the very next best thing is Terry Benson, ladies and gentlemen, is going to join us for a couple of Johnny Cash songs. Put your hands together for Terry Benson, please. <laughs> not Johnny Cash, but I'm going to sing for you anyway. I hear the train a-coming, it's rolling round the bend, and I ain't 
ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when I'm stuck in fools of prison Time keeps dragging on And that train keeps moving On down to San Antonio When I was just a baby My mama told me, son Always be a good boy Don't ever play with guns But I shot a man in Gurdon Just to watch him die Now I'm in Cummins prison I hang my head and I cry Come on, loser, pick for me, son There's rich folks sleeping on those fancy dining cars. They're probably drinking coffee and smoking big cigars. I know I had it coming. I know I can't be free. But that train keeps moving. That's what tortures me. Come on, Luke. Miss Prison, if that railroad train was mine, you know I'd move it on a little bit farther down the line, so far from Folsom Prison, that's where I'd want to stay, and I'd let that lonesome whistle blow my blues away, yeah, I'd let that lonesome whistle blow my blues away. Sounds like Johnny Cash, doesn't it? Terry Vincent. Don't want to hear nothing from Terry? All right, we'll do one anyway. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. There's a lot of people I've heard commenting about how much weight our governor has lost. And they, I've heard several questions to the effect of, uh, you know, where did it all go? Well, I thought I might show you. <laughs> I don't know how he transferred it to me, but I got it some way. Come on, Luther, kick this thing off for me. I taught the weeping willow how to cry, cry, cry. And taught the clouds how to cover up a clear blue sky. Tears are cried for that woman gonna flood you, big river. I'm going to sit right here until I die. Well, I met her in St. Paul, Minnesota. And it tore me up every time I heard her draw, so the draw. Heard my flame was a back down stream aboard. She raised a few eyebrows and went on down along. Come on, Luke picks on.
Thank you very much, Terry Benson, everybody. I want to introduce the members of the band for just a minute. First of all, over on the far left side over there, which does not describe his political viewpoint, by the way, but over on the far left is Dwayne Hayes, who works in constituent services in the governor's office. Would you welcome, please, from Pine Bluff, Arkansas, Dwayne Hayes. And by the way, he is single. Uh, we're trying to help him out here. So how many single young women do we have here? Would you lift your hands, please, who would be interested in Dwayne? No hands. Well, we were afraid of that. It goes the same everywhere we go. Dwayne's lead guitar player. We're glad to have him with us. Back on the drums, our uh, liaison for family issues. This is Chris Pyle from Russellville, Arkansas. Make him welcome, please. Also, backing us up sometimes on the drum from Mountain Home, Arkansas, who uh, has just left our office as finance director to the Department of Rural Advocacy, Jeff Pitchford, Mountain Home, Arkansas. From the communications department and recently moving over to the Hooked on Fishing, not on drugs program through the Game and Fish and Department of Education, the governor's office, welcome please from Little Rock, Arkansas, Grant Tenniel. Now we have one import in the band. We need to find one guy that we could bring in from the outside as a delegate from the general public to keep us ever mindful of who we serve. This is a fellow who used to play in Hope years ago. Some of you who grew up in my generation remember the band St. James. Rick was the leader of that band, St. James. This is Rick Calhoun from Morrillton, Arkansas, now Little Rock. Welcome, please, Rick Calhoun, who's now an investment banker in Little Rock. And obviously investment banking is going well enough that he has time to fool around with people like us, which tells you a lot about us and investment banking. Well, we're going to uh, be reminded today that this is, by the way, somebody said let Mike sing. Look, this is bad enough as it is, please. I want to tell you today, how many of you know whose birthday it is today? No, anniversary of his death. No, it's not Elvis's birthday. It's somebody's birthday, but it is the anniversary, the 20th anniversary of the death of Elvis. And since this has been Elvis week all over the country, just wanted to fool you, see? You thought it was his birthday. We thought we've got to throw in at least one Elvis tune. So uh, put your hands together and enjoy an old Elvis tune called Burning Love. <laughs>
right. This is one we uh, just worked up this week just for the occasion. We hope you'll enjoy it. It's an old, another uh, Creedence Clearwater song called Fortunate Son. This one is one that kind of crossed all the generations. It was a hit in the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and still remains a hit in the 90s. It's one we enjoy. We hope you do too. It's an old one from Chuck Berry called Johnny Be Good.
analyst for Capital Offense. Of course, most people will probably recognize him from his day job as governor of the great state of Arkansas, Governor Huckabee and Janet Huckabee, his wife. Um, I guess for both of y'all, what's it like coming back for you to be able to play in front of your hometown watermelon festival crowd? It's pretty scary. I thought we might have to put chicken wire in front of us to keep people from throwing things. <laughs> Fortunately, the people here in, in, in Hope uh, were gracious and kind, and uh, it was great to be home, and, and no one threw a thing at us. Not a single watermelon rind came our way. <laughs> what about for you? What's well, like? I had a great time. It's just, it seems like things are all the same here from when we were back here about 25 years ago, and it's been, it's been fun. We got to visit with a lot of folks, and I've just had a really great time. Well, good. I know after your performance, you were surrounded by, by a lot of, lot of people, probably more for your, your uh, <laughs> political ability and, and friends than for your music ability. Though it wasn't bad, <laughs> if I would say. But um, how did, how did it go meeting a lot of people? Get to see a lot of old friends? Oh, I, I saw people I haven't seen in 20 something years. I uh, just ran into a, a good friend of ours from high school that uh, we graduated with that I haven't seen, I guess, in 22 years or so. And so that was really a lot of fun. And uh, we've seen parents of some of our friends, and uh, some of our friends now have grandkids, which is hard for me to believe. So it's been a lot of fun coming back to the Watermelon Festival. Well, can you tell us a little bit about your band, Capital Offense, or Grand Hook Railroad, yeah. or the Pachyderms, whatever they're called? Well, what happened? Um, I had not played bass guitar really since I left Hope as a teenager. And about uh, oh a year or so ago, my wife found a guitar almost identical to the old one I used to have that I had to sell when, when our children came along. So she got it for me, and I started playing at my church. Well, several guys in our uh, office play guitar, and so just for the fun of it, we would get together sometimes in the basement of the governor's mansion and play. We played for a Christmas party for the staff, and uh, that led to playing for uh, the state employees out on the Capitol grounds for a picnic. And the next thing we know, it's in the news, and uh, I got invited to play bass guitar with Grand Funk Railroad, and uh, then we got invited to the Watermelon Festival. So, uh, you know, we, we don't pretend to be good. We've only played in public, I think, five times, something like that. We just have a good time. But your experience as a member of the band, in fact, you used to have a band here in Hope. Yep. I played uh, in several little country and rock bands when I was, uh, gosh, from the seventh grade, were the first one I played with. And a lot of those guys are still around Hope. Uh, you know, I look back, Mike Brown at Brown's Gro Berry's Grocery, and, and Steve Payne, I think, still lives in Hope. Uh, Tommy Russell, there's a lot of us uh, who were, you know, around in that group at that time who, who are still around today in Hope, and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It gives us a lot of memories. I know it was a, a big thrill for a lot of people in Hope having you come back and, and play on the, on the stage up there. <laughs> What's life like up on Capitol Hill for you? Well, it's extremely busy, but um, trying to live up to his band playing and being <laughs> governor and everything else, it makes it a little difficult sometimes, <laughs> but we're having a good time. We really are. Well, good. We appreciate you talking to us, and we're really glad y'all could come down to the Watermelon Festival. Well, we always enjoy coming in, and it's a great event, one of the really purest and best Arkansas events there is, and look forward to next year already. All right, well, I think you're still in time for the Watermelon Seed Spitting so. Contest if you, if you <laughs> want to participate in that. All right, uh, thanks a bunch. Appreciate y'all coming down and talking to us. Thank you. We'll be back with more from the 21st Annual Hope Watermelon Festival on KTSS Channel 55.